stargazing. And with a look at what's up in the sky, we go over to meteorologist Scotty Powell. Thanks, Frank. There is a lot going on in the sky, and it looks like we're going to see some weather to cooperate with that. First of all, the moon has reached a first quarter phase that starts this evening, meaning that the moon rises during the day and sets around midnight, and that's given us optimum conditions to view the sky after midnight as we'll see a little bit more darker sky out there, not as much moonlight to kind of blind what's going on in the sky. And first thing to talk about is the booted meteor shower. This isn't known as a variable meteor shower. Some years it overproduces, some years it underproduces. So it's best to head out this evening around dusk and afterwards and look up to the sky. You can see very little meteors or up to 100 meteors per hour. Again, don't get too excited about it, but it's something that uh, you might want to check out. It's kind of iffy here or there, but it's enough to talk about, and you may see a meteor or two pass by this evening. Another thing this week going on is our sunsets. As you can see right behind me, our latest sunset of the year is 8.30, and as we go throughout the next two to four, six weeks, we're going to unfortunately start to see that sunset earlier and earlier as we get into August. Our sunset will be closer to 8 o'clock than 8.30. Also in the sky this Saturday is Mars and Venus. They'll be pretty close together within about three degrees or so. So if you see these two bright objects in the sky this weekend, it is Venus and Mars. So pretty cool to see out there. And they'll be pretty bright for you to see. Also, the International Space Station will be passing by throughout this uh, end of the week. Look in the westward sky around 327 on Thursday morning. You can see the passage of the space station for about two minutes. You want to look eye level in the west-southwest sky. And also on Friday morning, a little bit earlier, 240 in the morning, you want to look into the southwest sky. This is going to be a great passage, passage as it's overhead, and it's going to be visible for about a minute. And finally, those tips that you want to see, you want to make sure that you get your eyes adjusted to the darkness and find a clear spot to view these. Frank, back to you for more of that warm weather.